And this episode of Leon Says starts right now. Hi there. Followers of this video podcast will know that I've modeled this after Penn Says. Well, Penn Says has morphed into Pen Point. And what Pen Point has is a three camera shoot. They have actually three cameras to record Penpoint. So of course I have to model Leon Says in the same way. So this is a three camera shoot. Now, today's Leon Says is about an article in the New York Times. And yes, sometimes I actually do read the New York Times. It's a fascinating article. It's entitled, A Bully Finds a Pulpit on the Web. It's about a woman who's looking for eyeglasses. And one of the top hits when she Googles for eyeglasses is Decor My Eyes. So she figures it's a top hit in Google. Why not try it? Well, the very interesting thing about Decor My Eyes, despite it being the top hit on Google, it's also one of the worst run PR companies on the net. Listen to what the guy says. Listen, bitch, he fumed, according to Miss Rodriguez. I know your address. I'm one bridge over. A reference it turned out to the company's office in Brooklyn. Then she said he threatened to find her and commit an act of sexual violence too graphic to describe in a newspaper. Now that's some pretty poor PR. This guy does not sound like a very good businessman. Further, a few hours later, Mr. Russo raised the stakes sharply by sending another email, this one with a photograph of the front of the apartment building where she and her fiance lived. So not only is this guy verbally abusive, now he sent a picture of her apartment to her. So this is getting pretty serious. Why would somebody who's running a business do this? Well, the interesting answer is he does this for a reason. He does this on purpose. Listen to him. <clears throat> say, hello, my name is Stanley with DecorMyEyes.com. The post began. I just wanted to let you guys know that the more replies you people post, the more business and the more hits and sales I get. My goal is negative advertisement. It's all part of a sales strategy, he said. Online chatter about Decor My Eyes, even furious online chatter, pushed the site higher in Google search results, which led to greater sales. He closed with a sardonic expression of gratitude. I never had the amount of traffic I have now since my first complaint. I am in heaven. So, talk about gaming the system. This guy goes out of his way to be rude and obnoxious to his customers so that his site will get the highest Google rating. So, does this kind of negative advertisement pay? Well, look at this next article. U.S. arrests online seller who scared customers. The merchant, Vitaly Broker, Borker, sorry, 34, who operates a website called DecorMyEyes.com, was charged with one count each of mail fraud, wire fraud, making interstate threats, and cyber stalking. So I guess all his trouble of being a negative PR person actually went overboard and caused him to get arrested. So in a sense, maybe this story does have a happy ending. And that's Leon says.